Hi, today we're here with Frosty. He's one of my favorite patients. He's um, a black dog. He's very um, sick right now. He needs some surgery, so I'm gonna work on some surgery for him. Are you ready for your surgery, Frosty? Are you a little bit scared? That's not Frosty. Okay, well you don't need to be scared, Frosty. First, I'm gonna give you something to help you sleep. Is that okay? Well, you don't wanna do the surgery while you're awake, do you? Okay, so you'll let me give you something to sleep then? Okay, so let's get started. Okay, we can see that Frosty is sleeping quite comfortably right now. He's not waking at all when I play with his paw. So he's got he's in a nice deep sleep. And you can see here where he has a little bit of an injury. So that's what we're gonna stitch up today. Um, I think he's gonna come through just fine. Um, it shouldn't take too long. And um, I'll let you guys come along for the ride. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do is get my surgical kit. So this is my special surgical kit that I use for all of London and Cash's little stuffed um, friends. So um, it's special thread that is um, for uh, little stuffed animals that are loved by little boys. So it's not just any thread, it's a special thread that we have to use. Um, and the first step, for uh, conducting the surgery is to pick out the proper colored thread. So you can see here I have a multitude, I have a lot of different colors. So the first thing we need to do is figure out what color we should use. So obviously we're not gonna use any of these light colors. I think we're gonna go with the black. So we'll just hold that up to Frosty and you can see it blends right in because we don't want his stitches to be obvious. Although it wouldn't be that big of a deal if they were, it would just add character. He would have a little bit of a scar that was, and his scar would be a different color. But I think that we want to do surgery on Frosty today so that he doesn't have any scars. So we'll use the black. Okay, so I've got my needle threaded and I've got a knot at the end of my needle. I don't know if you can see that there. And here's my needle. So now we're going to actually get started on the surgery itself. And um, I'm gonna have to wear a mask for this because I don't want any of my germs when I am operating on Frosty to go into his wound while I am operating on him. So I'm gonna um, go ahead and put my surgical mask on and we'll get started. Okay, so I have my surgical mask on and um, I have my hair pulled back because I don't want any of my hair to fall into Frosty and have him start growing hair that looks like mine. So we'll go ahead and get started on Frosty's actual procedure. Okay, so Frosty is all done with his surgery. He did great. He um, is still asleep. So you can see he's still asleep. He's still not waking up just yet. So we're just gonna give him some time to, to sleep for a little bit and rest. And then and what I'll do then, I will um, go ahead and put in a, what's called an Elizabethan collar on him. And that will help to keep him from chewing at his stitches and pulling his stitches out and licking at them because sometimes as they heal, they start to itch a little bit and um, puppies will tend to, to lick or, or um, bite at their wounds because um, they just don't know any better. So we'll put the collar on him so that he can't get to that and he'll just have to wear that for a couple days and then he will be all set. He'll be fine and good to go and good as new. Um, and he will just need to rest for a couple days while his stitches heal. And I would imagine that um, in the next day or two, he will be back to normal running around doing everything that he was ever doing. So let me go ahead and get his collar and get him woken up and we'll be back in a second. Okay, so Frosty is wide awake. He is sitting up, he has his 
Elizabethan collar on um, so that he doesn't mess with his stitches. I'm just going to give him a few minutes just to make sure that he's coming out of his anesthesia okay and that he can walk around um, and that he can walk around okay and then we will um, take him to his little buddy um, so he can go home and get some love and cuddles um, which is the best medicine for anybody.